Hello everyone, this video is going to talk about the FPA or the fire propagation apparatus. I made a little animation of drawing, I think it's cute, so here it is. So this is uh, another apparatus that's often used in a, in a fire science lab. It's similar to the cone calorimeter, except instead of using a an electronic cone, you use four halogen lights. So what this does is uh, you're using infrared somewhat more infrared radiation than the cone and you're also controlling the sample the environment around the sample using quartz tubes. So we have a quartz tube here we have four uh, halogen lights around the sample we're using a round, a round sample 10 centimeters in diameter we're going to put that here it's also on a load cell. We're going to measure the mass loss using a load cell. This thing is a load cell. We have our, our our hood that's going to collect all our combustion products above above here, and we're going to pump in our our air or oxygen enriched or inert atmosphere, whatever we're going to do. So this quartz tube that's around the around our sample, they use quartz because it doesn't absorb infrared radiation, uh, not absorb it very well anyway, and we're going to put in either we can put in normal air but we can also put in a, let's say a pure nitrogen environment if we wanted to see how the sample pyrolyzed or an enriched oxygen environment I believe up to 40 percent if you want to see uh, how the how the material behaves in an oxygen rich environment I can't remember the 40 percent for sure but these halogen lamps will generate uh, an incident heat flux of up to 65 kilowatts per meter squared so it's not as large it's not as high heat flux as a cone which is a, a maxes out at 100 kilowatts per meter squared but 65 is not bad and so similar to the cone you're also going to measure you're going to measure oxygen CO2 CO carbon monoxide and your soot coming out of the flue gas. The flue gas is here and you take your sample gas off and shine a laser through to look at the amount of soot based on the obscuration. And the heat release rate is either calculated using oxygen consumption or the CO2 generation. So the, the FPA can do it either way. Um, you hear a lot about them using the generation of CO2 to calculate the heat release rate on, on this apparatus. but. Um, I haven't ever actually used it. I've just seen it been used and figured I'd write a little description. Anyway, I believe that's all I have to say about this apparatus. I hope you found this useful and have a good day.